Okay, so you're probably wondering, what's today's true story? Well, you're gonna find out. Just gonna change here. And yes, I already know. The time of warning. Okay. And no sexism. So. Okay. Where do I even start? The sexist in class. We'll have to say that. And disclaimer. If you're a sexist. And if you're going to be like. Oh. Or I say disclaimer. If you're a person who supports sexism. Or the one word that's that. If you support sexist, if you're like a fan of people who are sexist, I recommend not to watch this. I think you'll be triggered, or something like that. I'm not. I'm. I don't know. So, we just in science class. Everything's fine. I'm about to finish some, something up. So the teacher tells me to put it away. My head. Oh, come on. I was about to finish, but I respected the teacher, put it away. Got my Chromebook. Book away. Got my notebook, my pencil. Yeah, just that. So, just about. Just when you're all playing this game with some air and all that, I. It's just be me until we have the sexist, also known for the student who's sexist. We'll call them the sexist. When he saw the, the Peppa Pig mask, that's when he starts being made fun of just for, for liking a Peppa Pig. And if you guys know, didn't know, yes, Peppa Pig was my childhood. So, yeah, you're never too old for anything, though, too. Just saying, just being honest. Please ignore my background noise. After that happening and stuff, a little bit a little a little well, some words and all that until he starts moaning. The moaning he did I started to get pretty uncomfortable. The more uncomfortable I got, some other students got uncomfortable. The teacher told him to stop and said, There are windows. Not windows, but the walls were thin. And I kind of have hatred for thin walls because people can hear what you're saying or what you're doing. So that's why I kind of like those soundproof walls that you don't hear a thing. Which I do have to think for some of walls. Say noise proof walls or whatever you call them. But when he started going on, that's when the sexist said, there should be less girls and more boys. And before he said that though, he started making fun of me for the mask I had. I was about to draw hands. And by hand, I mean fist. I'm not that much of violent when it comes to people in person. But if someone wants to pick a fight with me, they shouldn't. And if you ask why, I can be a pretty violent person when it comes to fights. I can be a little bit rough with fighting. And... I can be a little bit of a violent person.
just so you know. And when he starts, when the sexist started screaming, I couldn't take it no more. I was about to throw my fist and I gave him a death glare. I was just trying to write a bone with skulls on it and started laughing, thinking I couldn't do it. But the girl right next to me told me to ignore him, but I couldn't due to him pissing me off. And though I was mad, I right now wanted to give him a punch to the face when he said, Ed, and if you already know, when he said, there should be less girls and more guys, or I would have to say, there should be no girls in this class, which sounded sexist to, to me and other girls. Because he was even saying rude things to the girls in the classroom. And when he said he had chess, I, I was wondering if it was true or not. I said, but, I said, but some males do, and he said, exactly. I kind of want to start a fight. But, no. But, when he said the word... And rude words to one of the girls. If you're gonna ask, what did he call me? He called me dipshit. I was pissed off. I want to punch him, but if I punched him, I knew I would get a suspension or a detention. I knew I did not want to be suspended, did or expelled, or get detention. But if I did, let me know how my mom would act. Not act, but react, because I know she'll be mad about that. But due to that, when me and, uh, me and the other girls, like the girls in every single one of our seats, just trying to play the game, after we lost in that one game, we are doing a little like Shepherdy, Jeopardy, Shepherdy, wh whatever you call it again. When it was over, I didn't care if me and my team lost. I didn't even care. I can be kind of, not kind of, but I can be calm when it comes to, when it comes to losing in games. Okay. And if you ask, how am I a little like? Like when it comes to losing on games, I can actually be kind of calm when it comes to playing games in school. I can also be calm also. When it comes to also home. And just doing me. Well then, we go to our next class. And we found out he had to get sent to the office. It was funny. And just having to talk with lunch break until. <laughs> we see him with his backpack. I'm like, hey, I already, and some of the girls knew. Some of the girls knew in my class knew that he was going to be in trouble or suspended or something like that. While well, also for a short little thing, also meant for oh this this disruptive kid. Since I haven't discussed, 
that has also been also sent to the office. So we weren't seeing them. And we wondered, not we, but I was a little bit wondering what was going, what was going to happen. Until, and like to my head, is he suspended, expelled? Not sure. But if he did get suspended or expelled, I'd be like, hmm, okay. I was going to be actually happy to uh, be like, finally, no sexism. And if you ask, do I have a hatred for sexism? The answer, the answer, yes, actually. Please ignore the dog face I a little bit have. I, I'm not even sure if I should call it a dog face or not, not to be racist or rude to my face. And due to that, it, I just hoped for the next day there won't be any sexes. Well, class, school's over and everything else. I'm happy, get on the bus, I'm like, I'm like to my head. I hope tomorrow no sexism. And to those out there who might have known about sexism, or not that, but pe people out there who did sexism, don't do it. It it's bad. Sexism is bad. Not. It's worse than a sexist joke. For the example, Ezekiel's sexist joke on girls, while some other users like to be sexist when it comes to males, females, transgenders, genderless, and both gender. And we should never, we should never be made fun of for our gender. Never be like, all genders do this or all genders do that. Because that's not true. Because that's sexist. And not all boys do boyish things. Well, not all girls do girlish things. Because every male and female has a different thing to do. And I know our, we, our, all our gender is different in this world. And we should never be made fun of for our gender. Or something like that. And please, if you're going to be sexist, go away, please. <sighs> Sorry if this story was cringy. Well, if you enjoyed this lecture story, make sure you like comment, subscribe, and post notifications. This is me, Quiet Place, signing off.